<sighs> I'm having SD card problems then. It's been a while since I last vlogged, so bear with me. I've just been trying to install these like knockoff cartridges and they are not working, so it's pissing me off. I'm going to email their support team to see if they can help me. In the meantime, I bought new cartridges, legitimate ones. I always have trouble with the, just these cheaper alternatives. I've tried some other brands before and they just, they're just not the same. Sadly, I have to just suck it up and <laughs> order the expensive um, branded ones. So yeah, I, I need to install them now so then I can print some stickers. So my store closes tomorrow. Um, I wanna say a massive thanks to everyone um, who's made an order. I will be shipping out the rest once my charms arrive. Yeah, hopefully they'll arrive next week. Fingers crossed. If not, then it should be the first week of December at the latest. So yesterday, Ticktail announced that they are merging with Shopify or something of the likes. I'm not sure if Shopify bought out Ticktail or if they are just um, agreeing to give Ticktail's users like a six month free trial of their service. Probably just to like take some of the customers. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on there. They try to word it as if it was like exciting and good, a good thing, but it's not. It makes me a little bit sad because I've been using TikTok now for uh, three, about three years. I've always really liked them, especially because I was lucky enough to have a discounted price pricing plan with them. So I have saved a lot of money over the years and I really liked their interface and everything. So I'm gonna have to go looking for another place to host my store. Um, initially I thought, oh, I'll just, you know, this is the right time now to move to Squarespace. But um, I'm not sure yet. I'm still looking into like the pricing. Okay, this box is, oh, there it is. Box cutter. Okay, so this box is reprints of Equinox and my sketchbook. I accidentally oversold a few sketchbooks, so I've reprinted a few more. I'm gonna put these ones on my shop in January, and then I won't be reprinting the brick sketchbook anymore after this. Surprisingly, I also ran out of Equinox, so I reordered, I reordered that. I did go with printed again for this batch, just because they do the style that I have my books in, um, but I'm just hoping they've done a good job this time. I don't know what's happened here, but the text here, trickywagon.net, is super pixely. <laughs> At least the print, the print itself and the artwork is fine. Just a bit strange. It might be an issue with my file, but I doubt it. <laughs> so far, so good. I'm in love with you guys. Okay, I think you see the box. Okay. So I ordered about 20, I think. 25, I'm not sure. This one is not great. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. How hard can it be printed? How hard can it be to package some books? Generally, these are okay. Okay, Equinox. Moment of truth here. <laughs> Things like this. Not good. The inside pages are perfect, so I'm glad I don't have to write an email. <laughs> At least for that one, I'll do more checks. You can never be sure that the entire batch has come out the same. But overall, very pleased. Thank you, Printed, for not messing up my order. In the first time, it may be the last three or four times I've ordered with you. <laughs> yeah, these look fine. I'm mostly looking for the borders at the bottom. That was the issue I had last time. Yeah, it seems fine. You feel good. I'm gonna count everything. I think my charms are coming tomorrow or the day after. And then I've got new business cards coming on Monday. Wednesday today. Wednesday the 28th of November. It's been a really good month, but I haven't vlogged at all this month. I just haven't really felt like it. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in each little batch. I think I ordered a hundred. So this is the third, this is the third? No, this is the fourth reprint of Equinox. Thank you so much to anybody who has a copy of this, by the way, because I just, I never really expected to sell this many. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate all the support. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, hopefully I can make um, like a new one, a new zine this coming year. 
That's the plan. No, oh, I got extras. I got two extras. Okay, that makes up for that wrecked cover one. I really want a bookshelf, like a really big bookshelf, and so I can just keep my stock in it. That won't happen until I move though. Unless I empty that one. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I was thinking of doing a cool segment where I just pick a random book from that bookshelf to show you guys because they're all actually, well most of them are art books and zines from other people so I think it would be a nice way for you to discover some artists though I have a lot of like different books but from the same artist The thing with me is that I really like art books so if one of my favourite artists releases an art book I will buy it Other types of merch I'm not as enticed to buy but books I will just spend my money on <laughs> Kind of bad because books are expensive. Blue blur. I may have to blur that out. I'm aggressive on that. Ah, that's a wee. Okay, um, here is the quick mock up of the bookmark I made yesterday. Um, it's gonna go with the sketchbook of the block design. If you purchase the sketchbook, you'll get a bookmark too. I actually wasn't that happy with this yesterday, but looking at it now, today, after sleeping on it, I like I like it quite a lot now. So this side's gonna be holographic, and then this side's gonna be, be color um, with a matte coating. There will also be a design that matches the Keen sketchbook, so you'll get that one instead if you purchase the Keen sketchbook. Uh, just a warning, my sketchbooks are gonna be shipped by my friend from Canada. If you do purchase the bookmark separately, you'll probably receive it separately from the sketchbook, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know, that probably wouldn't, doesn't make sense. Okay, so my business cards have arrived super early. It's Thursday, the 29th, and we're gonna come on Monday. So I don't know what happened there, but um, thank you, Solo Press. <laughs> now I can pack orders earlier. I am still waiting for my charms though, and the tracking hasn't updated, so it's making me a little bit worried. So actually I can't pack orders yet, goddamn. <laughs> Surprisingly, I ran out of this business card that I printed earlier this year. I guess because of conventions and everything, I, I ran out. Um, so I have made a new one. So this is also spot glass UV. Kept the kind of the same pattern as I did on the other one. I think it has a nice effect. It is a lot more noticeable on the darker colour. And then the back is this. So it's a black and gold design. <laughs> Very sleek. <laughs> so yeah, any new orders you will receive this one. I ordered 2,000 this time, so hopefully they will last me a bit longer. And then I can bring them to conventions next year too. Thank you, Solo Press. Hey guys, it's Monday the 3rd of December. My charms actually arrived today, which was really great because I thought they were going to arrive on Thursday because I really wanted to get everything out before the end of the first week of December, which is this week. I ordered these at the start of November, but it's just taken a month to get to me, so it just happens, I guess. I'm quite happy with how these have turned out. I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> there they are over here. Um, so this is app, key. Oh, I'm going out of the way. Key looks like this. This one's brick. And then block is block is here. Overall I'm really happy with them, but there's there are a few ones that I don't think I can give to you guys. It's really hard to capture on camera, but it's uh can you faintly see that outline there? That's like a raised <laughs> like a raised splatter of epoxy which really shouldn't happen. I can't really sell this one, so I'm gonna keep it instead, and then I'll ask for a reprint for that. Um, there are a few ones which have scratches as well, which is not ideal either. It's hard because they're double epoxy, so I I think it's okay to have a, a few little things, like little marks, but things like this shouldn't be happening at all. I'm really worried now, because I haven't looked through all of them yet. I've only looked through a few, and I've already found a couple which can't be sold. These brick ones are pretty bad as well. Don't know if you can see it. There's like these scratches there. And also with the pre-orders, I already sold out of the quantities I ordered, so I don't actually have any extras. So I'm gonna have to email some people and 
uh, apologise because I'd rather send them what should be expected. You can see the little dents in that. Like you can't really tell when you're holding it and everything. Only if you really examine it. These ones are okay uh, so far. I'm very worried. Um, this key one seems fine and then also this app one seems okay as well. That's good. And then I, I really like how the print came out with um, with app and brick. I think the print came out quite well. But then with key and block, I think the skin's a little bit washed out. Um, it might be the, due to the what colour I used, but I don't really know. But they're okay. This is the other supplier that I was talking about last time. They offer double epoxy, which my uh, preferred supplier does not offer. It like enticed me to order with them. <laughs> but I think I'm probably just going to order with my regular supplier in the future. So they printed my recent Spider-Man charm here. It's super vibrant and just really nice. And actually the acrylic, even though it's one-sided epoxy, it's thicker than that, the epoxy that these guys use. So it actually feels pretty much the same anyway. So yeah, the next batch will be printed with a different supplier. I'm gonna look through everything and hold my breath. Uh, oh yeah, this is the packaging I've designed. It's similar to the pin packaging, I just added a little bit at the bottom. And then I'm gonna have like little rounded corners. My printer has banded a bit whilst printing these, which is uh, a bit strange, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. But it's not a big deal, it's just packaging. Oh, I also got my, um, this one, my sheet design. which came out quite nicely actually. So they fixed it. It's epoxy on the front now, and then the hollow is on the back which is my original request, and it looks so much better. <laughs> I really like their epoxy on one side and the hollow on the other side. I think they do that really well. Um, I also actually got this. Uh, I just ordered one. It's Double Epoxy Kingsman Donut Charm. I only ordered one, but there's still like a dent in it. <laughs> um, the colors are really weird. All right, if I can compare it to my regular one. Okay. This is the actual colors it should be. Um, the colors are really nice, super vibrant. Feels nice and thick. It's, it has the same feeling really as this one. It looks even stranger on camera. Um, it's just slightly off. It's more orangey than it should be. It should be more pink. And like the border, really big. You see, around the edges. Like I don't mind it too much though. But the double epoxy isn't that much better than the single epoxy because of the thickness of the acrylics. You can see it here. The acrylics actually thicker on the single sided epoxy one. So in a way it's better. Anyway, uh, a lot to think about really. Because I think the most important part of the charm is the artwork. I'd rather go for the supplier that has the better print quality. I'm gonna do that going forward for for now. I'll keep occasionally doing prints with these guys to do checkups on how their quality is every now and then because I know that these type of companies improve their quality as they keep going. And I think they're a fairly new company as well, so um, I'll keep I'll keep trying them out. Those are just my feelings. separated the ones which are acceptable <laughs> to the ones that aren't. Um, I'm going to email you guys who are um, whose orders I will have to postpone I'm afraid. I'm really sorry about this. Um, I'm kind of stressed out about it to be honest. I really don't like having outstanding orders for too long. I won't be able to get a new batch of charms until the new year. So I've messaged the supplier about these but I don't know what they're going to say. Their quality control is just really inconsistent. Um, so I made a new order with my regular supplier for more of these charms. Um, sadly, they won't be double epoxy, they'll just be single sided, but they are going to be just as nice because the acrylic's thicker. The print quality will actually be better as well. So there's no real loss there. I'm just going to do what I can right now and then hopefully send out most, most of the orders tomorrow um, or Wednesday and then I'll email everyone else who, uh, whose order I have to postpone. I'm really sorry. Uh, it's really stressful. Yeah, I'm pretty tired right now. It's like half past, half past ten in the evening. I was just like sorting out files for the new order I made. I thought since I'm going to make a new order, I might as well order some, uh, reorder some of my other designs too that went out of stock. 
Oh yeah, about in the last vlog when I was talking about not doing packaging. And uh, you guys recommended me the EcoCraft uh, website, and thank you for that. I have looked at it before. I was more really talking about like the time it takes to repackage everything rather than the materials. But also like ink as well, because ink is really expensive. And it's not like it can be reused or anything or recycled. That was what I was trying to say. <laughs> but yeah, I will consider the EcoCraft stuff. Um, it's not actually that much more expensive if you buy like a thousand pieces at once. So I might just do that for... Um, so you buy cellophane bags. I'll have that to last me a while. Because it's the end of the year, I've been reflecting a lot about how this past year has gone. And, um, like, it's hard to see when you're in the thick of it. It's, like, really difficult to think about how, how you're doing. But then, like, reviewing it, I really do feel like, um, everything's gone really well this year. For the most part <laughs> a whole year full time i'm not homeless so it's a good sign <laughs> yeah isn't it cute just a few more left now it's a shame because the ones that aren't defected are really nice they're definitely capable of the quality i really like this packaging as well like i love the colors i can't i can't stop using it if you order these, you will be getting the new business card, the Spot UV one. So they'll come like this. Very sleek, isn't it? Oh, I feel like I've upgraded. <laughs> so yeah, there's a block and break set. They're quite big charms. This one is, uh, so block's three inches tall and break is 2.8-ish. Depending on how the other supplier make them. I might have to change the sizes, but we'll see. Hopefully it's fine. Wait, that's key. I probably should use different colors for key. Oh well, I'll think about it for next time. I kind of bought a bigger batch of charms when I made the new order because I've been thinking about this, but I think stocking more is, makes more sense because I can get it cheaper per piece and then also because it's my original stuff it's not like um like fan art when it goes out of trend it's hard to like um, move certain items so it's not like that because i've had this charm for over a year maybe a year and a half maybe two years i don't know um and he's still selling okay so if i just order a big batch um it will last me hopefully a few months at least and then um it just makes more sense doesn't it I don't have to worry about the pre-order stuff and like doing back orders. My goal next year is to be more organized with my stock. For the new batch, I've changed the, this one to a gold heart instead of rose gold because I think it would suit, it would go better with his yellow jacket. It's just a small thing. What should I do guys? Would you guys be okay with me putting some up for like a cheaper price online? Um, I can like put sample pictures up. Actually, let me just show you a few of them. Here. Okay, so here, this one has like a million scratches on it at the back. Like some scratches is okay, but like the ones where it's like embedded in the epoxy is not good. That's classed as like not acceptable to me anyway. I might add them to the shop. Do you think that's okay? What do you think? Because I know some people won't mind because the print is actually fine. And you can't always see that, um, that part. It's just when you're shining it in certain lights ones which have a dent which are like really obvious like this or on the front mostly i've uh, classified that as unacceptable because like look at that it's basically a blemish right <laughs> yeah i'll i'll put them online so then at least they'll have a home <laughs> mostly this dent across his face it's really hard to pick up on camera oh wait he's also got okay yeah this is why <laughs> this one's bad because it's got the um this one has like a splodge of epoxy there but yeah basically that's what the problem is with these ones. The print is okay. If you don't mind it, I'll probably discount them like 25 to 30 percent of the original price. Do you think I'm being too picky? I don't think I'm being too picky. This one's not too bad actually. Well, he's got two scratches there, two big ones there. <sighs> so on the front, there, there, you see it. There's two dents there. Seems so small when I'm explaining it to you, but it's really annoying. Anyway, I'm sure you're tired of hearing me blabber about these things now.
Royal Tuesday. I'm just packing the orders that I can pack. I'm almost done. This is the majority of them actually. I have probably about 30 orders that I can't pack because of the damage charms. But um, I'm gonna email everyone who is affected. I'm really sorry if your order has been affected by that. I I have like sorted out the orders for those, like reprints and everything. So they will be coming probably in January or I'll just ship everything out in January to avoid the uh, Christmas rush. I'm packing just another order right now and realized that I, <laughs> I have no break postcards again. I don't know how this keeps happening. I don't know why Block has so many and then just there's no brick ones. Um, so I will order more. I think this hopefully is the last order I can pack anyway. I'm going to spend a lot of December probably moving storefronts because TikTel, TikTel is dying. But I don't know if I will have it up and running by January when I update the store. I might also just uh, use the remaining time that TikTel is open for since I still have it for free. It's worth keeping it around for a couple more months. And I'm just catching up with Joy Sam vlogs as well. Yeah, I really recommend her channel if you like art vlogs. Her work is really interesting, I find, and it's very unique. I always think like she puts a lot of thought in the things she makes and really deserves a lot more like recognition. Yeah, definitely check her out. I'm also subscribed to her Patreon and I get like monthly stickers every month, which are really cute. So yeah, check check her Patreon out too. It's 1.45 p.m. on Tuesday. Um, I'm just going to the post office. I'm glad I'm going out a bit later because it was chucking it down before and I don't want anything to get wet. But I'm also picking up Amy and we're going to go do some work. Um, we've got an application to, to do today. I'll talk more about it in a bit. Yeah, I really like the front. I feel like we need to reword my uh, about us. Yeah. To be something, something who are looking to expand. You do like likes and dislikes, like a profile. Okay. I guess we could link our social media or whatever. Swipe right. What time is this going? No idea. It'll be fine. I think we'll just go and. Whenever we have the car until half six, so. <laughs> it's so cozy. <laughs> it's cold. Is it? Yeah. I'm not too cold. Nope. Probably because I just had coffee. <laughs> we are doing our application. We are applying for a studio space, um, which is very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> We're just putting together a PDF of our work and uh, a little bit about us. Um, yeah, it's hard to talk about yourself. Yeah, it is hard. I'm basically making Amy do everything. It's because I'm used to doing PDFs, but doing PDFs about like work, not about myself. We should do each other's one. Ooh. Maybe that'd be easier. <laughs> just put a picture of my dog. Yeah, just, like, I'll put my cat on. Appeal to both dog and cat lovers. I think I've got the right hard drive here. That's a good layout. If we do a similar layout. Oh, you mean for the, for the video? Second one. Sure. Okay. Um, I just came home to this parcel. So excited to open this. This is um, art books by one of my favorite artists. Um, the name is Old Zian. Sorry for my pronunciation. Gosh, they taped this up good. Oh, tripod. Okay. Oh my gosh. Surprisingly, it's very heavy. I've got two copies of each thing because um, I bought a copy for my friend to order together. I always do my best to save the bubble wrap I get from orders um, and other things like stock because then I can use it for when I pack my own orders. And I've actually never purchased like bubble wrap myself. I've only ever reused bubble wrap. I just keep it all in like a huge box down there. That's not only pretty. Can't save this part. Oh my god, it's so pretty. You're so nice. Wow, 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 wow. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Got two of everything, so we need to separate it. This is the 19 days book. Oh my gosh, let's look at this. Oh my god, there's like a clear vial in here. 
I'm freaking out, guys. It feels like Christmas. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, she got posted too. Ooh, and then this is the art book. They've got another one, but I don't have it. Art collection too. If you haven't read their story or 90 Days, I definitely recommend them. This is like embossed. And then this is the poster. Look at that, just beautiful. Okay, let's have a look at all the little things that you got. So I think this is just like a card. This is their series moth packer. It's a sticker. I just love how like different everything is. This is just a postcard. Another postcard. Moss Packer and 19 Days one. I love this, it's so cute. <laughs> 19 Days extra. Oh wait, you also get this clear file. I'm crying. So, okay, I'm gonna remove this. See what's underneath. Very pretty. Cover. Oh, okay, it's a comic printed. Oh my god, I did not realize this. Yeah, it's in Chinese, but um. You can find the translations online. Oh my gosh, this is great. Yeah, I always wondered if they would print the comic. Wow. And then this is the art book. Let me take the sleeve off. Oh, it's a very minimal design in the front. Orange. That's cool. Oops. <gasps> okay, so you get these extras as well. This one. I think these were stretch goals. Um, because they reached like 30,000 sales or something crazy like that. Okay, so if you do not know, that is their handle. I'll link everything below and definitely go check them out if you don't know. Yeah, they are just so amazing. Hey. Just put my poster up. Uh, I was gonna spend today decluttering a bit, but like home things, things like uh, groceries and laundry, just tidying up in general, because I've been kind of neglecting it a little bit lately. And then hopefully I can move on to other things. Actually, yeah, I did write a list here. I got homework to do. Basically, just need to do a massive decluttering and stop count. <laughs> decluttered now everything's kind of tidy just have like my stuff in a, a neat arrangement table space if i need it and this is just like pile sketchbook stuff i need to organize and then um, my desk super boy <laughs> here is the remaining um stock i have left this box is just packaging any envelopes i receive or like packages i receive um if the envelopes are like not too worn out i'll try and just open them from the side like this and then keep them um so i can reuse them Sketchbooks, I think that's sticker paper. Charms are in there. Um, these are pins. I've been doing a stop count. These are the ones that I still have to hold on to for people whose orders I can't ship out yet. Uh, these are the pins I have left. So I have three brick ones and then one block one because um, two of the block ones are actually seconds. These two. So I can't actually like sell them at full price, but I'm going to put them on my shop um, at a discounted price. Uh, it might be hard to pick up what's wrong with them in this light, but I'll take photos. Like the blemishes on them are actually not that bad to be honest, I'm just really picky. Those are the only pins I have left now, uh, so I'll put them on my shop when it reopens in January. So Equinox is in there, I need to reprint sketch logs for next year. I'm going to um, change my printers, I'm going to try and mix out for those. I don't have any sketches 2017 left, only like these ones which are misprints. <laughs> you get misprints don't I? It's trimmed incorrectly on the edge. I think it's because it's not perfect bound, it makes it difficult for them to trim. I forgot to show you my key bookmark. Try and find it. So that was the back design that I finished off in the end and then formatted for this bookmark. Um, this is going to be the holographic side um, and then that's going to be the matte uh, colour side. I will include these with any purchase of the sketchbook and they'll also be available individually. I didn't explain this very well when I was showing you the block bookmark. I'm going to send a bunch of these to my friend so then she can ship them together. 
she doesn't know this yet but <laughs> if she watches this i'm gonna send you a few grace if you don't mind you can ship them with, uh, with the um sketchbooks i might also be shipping some of the sketchbooks oh you know i'll post again in january when this shop's actually open so then i actually know what's going on <laughs> i'm gonna close this vlog now thank you for watching and um i hope you enjoy the rest of the year and uh, any celebrations that you may have and uh see you guys in the new year wow well i might have another video but this will be the last vlog, so I'll see you in 2019.